To the untrained eye, the seaside town of Largs on the west coast of Scotland would look the same today as it did in 1944. But back during the Second World War, this coastal paradise held a secret. For it was home to the headquarters of the Combined Operations planning D-Day. George Newlands, a volunteer at the local Largs Museum, talks about the buildings at the heart of Scotland's best-kept wartime secret. Vanduara was taken over and became the combined uh, operations headquarters for the duration of the war. And then a conference of about 110 military personnel took place in the Hollywood Hotel, as was then. It's little known, but that conference was one of the most important um, pre-planning things for the whole operation. The Vanduara guest house was owned at the time by the Derby family, and although Mrs Derby moved out, Mr Derby stayed on, his efforts rewarded with the rank of Chief Petty Officer. Flats now stand at the site of the Hollywood Hotel, the location of the critical Field of Cloth and Gold conference. Only the name remains, signalling history, was made here. One thing that won't have changed in 80 years is Largs Promenade being a popular site for a stroll. So how much do today's locals know about the history made on their doorstep? Where do you think that would have been planned? Um, here maybe? Oh. Yeah, it is well done. I think that's quite cool that it happened in a wee Scottish town like this. Yeah. Um, London. <laughs> it was that building right behind me over the was corner. It really? Yeah. Hollywood House. It's gone now, it's been replaced by flags, but there were meetings here in Largs. I wouldn't have known that, no. I've lived here all my life and I wouldn't have known that. Long-time Largs resident Gordon Scott says younger generations are beginning to take a keen interest in the approaching anniversary. The younger generations uh, are much more interested than maybe my generation was. But again, it was, it was more recent to my generation, so my parents, were, my father, were trying to forget it. They didn't talk about the war. But as the time has gone on, you know, we've looked back and we've realised the tragedy of it all. In truth, history was made all across Scotland. The Sheriff Muir Atlantic Wall was used to practise breaching techniques. Oban was a testing ground for the Mulberry Harbours. Chaff was tested for the first time at Tintallon Castle in North Berwick. And even Largs has more stories to tell. HMS Largs was the command ship for all the landings that took place in Sword Beach in uh, June 1944. So she was quite an important little ship. Two of Scotland's surviving D-Day veterans passed the torch to the younger generation this week. But by the next landmark anniversary, it will most certainly fall on the shoulders of youth to champion their story, their courage and their sacrifice. Tony Maguire. GB News.